Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. I've got a special video today, an exclusive interview from a 1973 Boxing News featuring Builder Bon Williams uh, whilst he was in America doing an interview with the Boxing News. So I'm gonna put the pictures up and read out the interview to you. I've got to say a big thank you to one of my subscribers, Mark Powell and his dad, Russell. Thank you for supporting the channel firstly, but also he found this Boxing News in his house. Um, so it's been there for God knows how many years. So it's a really good find. And there's an article on Paul Sykes in it as well. So I'll probably read the Paul Sykes one at the end as well. Uh, so yeah, here it is. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for the support. So this is the Boxing News, July the 20th, 1973. Article by Simon Ewan Smith. It's headlined, Back Again Billy Praises US Scene. Heavyweight Billy Williams, former East End amateur who turned pro in the States, had a lot to say about the American scene when I met him at a London restaurant last week. Billy, accompanied by advisor Leslie McCarthy and trainer Terry Spink, said, It is entirely different over here. There is no variety in sparring. Everybody's about the same. In the States, I'd spar one day with a great 20 stoner and the next day, maybe with a light heavy. I'd never, got that, I'd never have got that kind of experience if I'd have stayed in Britain. Warming to his theme, he went on, I'll give you a case in point. Remember that Mexican who came over here and fought Ralph Charles, Raul Soriano? Ralph was expected to beat him easily, and he could have done. But this guy's got a style Ralph had never met before, and that put him right off. I asked Billy if there was anybody specific that he would like to fight in Britain. Anyone I'm matched with, he replied. I'm the fighter, not the matchmaker. One person I would like to fight, because I think it would be a great fight, is Mike Quarry. It'd be a catchweight contest, but there wouldn't be that much pulling the weights. I normally come in around 13, 12. I know Mike very well. We shared an apartment for a while in America. Certainly, Billy looks to be very, a very welcome addition to the British heavyweight ranks. It is often stated that there's nothing like experience in American rings, and Billy has had nine fights there, all of which he won. He also has just had just about the best trainer in the world, Angelo Dundee. Talking about Dundee naturally led to Muhammad Ali, and Billy was loud in his admiration for the former world champion, describing him as the greatest human being I've ever met. I was invited to spar with Muhammad Ali before we fought Norton, Billy said, but I had a fight of my own coming up and I couldn't. I asked him how he felt when Ali lost to Norton, and Billy said, it was a terrific shock. He'll win the rematch, OK, no trouble. Then the talk switched back to Billy and his future, which after all was the subject of the exercise. I'm lucky in my work, Billy said. I'm a storeman with a central heating firm and they're really terrific about giving me time off to train. Leslie McCarthy said he was convinced that Billy would be well up in the heavyweight ratings before long and trainer Terry Spinks was just as enthusiastic. The potential this boy's got is, is just unbelievable, Terry said. And from, one, and from one of Terry's experience, that sort of appraisement counts for a lot. So that was the Builder Bomb article. In the same newspaper, there was an article on Paul Sykes. Or well, this may be a different one, but anyway, it says, Paul Sykes, former prisoner who won the Northern Counties heavyweight title, and sparred gamely with former world champion Joe Frazier, has been refused a pro license by the Boxing Board's Central Area Council. Sykes, who boxed for Bootle's Maple Leaf outfit, can reapply for a pro license on January the 1st. A spokesman for the Area Council said, we want to be sure that ex-prisoners have become fully adjusted and will become a credit to themselves and boxing. Sykes, 24 years old and six foot four inches tall, was outpointed by Birmingham-based Jamaican Garfield McEwen in an ABA semi-final shock at Bellevue. McEwen went on to win the national title. So there we have two articles there, Builder Bomb, Williams and Paul Sykes. Big thank you to um, Mark Powell and Russell Powell for sending me that over. And uh, thank you, lads, for the support of the channel. And thank you to all my subscribers and to everyone who watches the channel. Really appreciate that and uh, I'll catch up with you all soon.